Hey guys, one clue here. I hope all of you are doing well and having a really great day. In today's video, we want to take a look on the latest release of the ESP Miner version firmware for the Bidex device. So let's get into it. So the first thing that we need to do, obviously, is to go to the release page of the ESP-Miner repository on the GitHub page. All the links that I'm opening here, you will find in the video description down below. So let's take a look what is a new feature in this current version or in the latest release. So we do get a new feature that's called Swarm. And what this allows us is to monitor and administrate all of our BitX devices from a single view. What this means, will I show you in just a second. What else has been changed? There was some sort of a fix for the automatic fan control and for the minimum fan speed adjustment. Also, there is now the functionality that you can hide your locks and that your WebSocket is no longer open up the lock connection all day long. So this is probably releasing a little bit of CPU usage from this device. You only need to process all the logs when you want to see them. Also, there were some system setting updates, so that's pretty good. So what we want to do is we want to download the esp dot bin file let me grab this and let me grab the www.bin file i put all, both of them in my downloads folder uh, give me one second and let me delete the old ones that i had i quickly need to change the naming of them and then we can jump over um, so my current X4S is not looking typical or as normal as you would expect it because I do have a version that is or that was um, a test version that I got. But we want to install the firmware update together. So in order to have all the functionalities that I told you in the beginning, you need to update all your devices. So let's see that we can update the esp minor bin uh, by the way if you are still asking yourself should i update the esp minor binary first or the www binary um, i was told that this doesn't matter i usually start with the esp minor binary files and then i go over to the www ones um, but yeah as i told you i was told that there is no issue so let's do the same uh, with the other one if you do the other one uh, other way around like the ww first uh let's restart this one that's my first one and this one seems to be successful as well let's update the www here and then i will show you a couple of things that are pretty pretty nice and uh, i really love to say wait for this just for a second so that this can update Usually it's pretty fast, as you can see. So we did got the update. Let's restart this as well. So let's go over to the homepage. So we do see all the necessary feature. Uh, we also see the best difficulty that this device has ever reached, not only for this current session, but for forever. So this is pretty handy. I uh, really love to see this. Uh, as I stated, uh, you can now hide your locks. I can click on show locks, wait a couple of seconds, and then we should see, there we go, the first couple of locks that are coming in. I can hide them uh, again. Uh, so when we go over to the settings page, so we do have those pages here on, on top like this um, I don't know what it's called in English I'm sorry but you get you, you get what I'm talking about like those you can hop between home settings and swarm now that's that's pretty nice things are looking normal here uh, that I do not have such a drop down menu here it's just a bug from my browser so nothing you should worry about and every other browser I can select from a drop down menu from the frequency and the whole voltages not that you guys get confused yeah so this is looking normal here uh the new feature that we want to take a look on is swarm and let me quickly remove all the devices here let's restart this one let's hop over to this one and restart this one as well so nothing is happening that's good um so swarm is basically as i state a overview of all your bitx devices that you do have in your network you do need to put in the IP addresses of these devices. So um, currently I will put in the IP address of the current device and then I can also put in the IP address of another device. And there you go. We can now see both devices from one single page. You can also click on the edit page here and change what we want to change 
maybe I just want to have one bit eggs on the one on one pool and the other bit eggs on another pool. Uh, this is also a possibility. Um, so you can edit everything here. You can restart it and you can remove it from the swarm settings. Currently, I do have a couple of fan issues with my third bit eggs. So I'm not putting this one on here, but I could also do this. But for the sake of understanding what we're doing, uh, you do see that the swarm functionality is there. One thing that I do notice is it does not automatically update as the home page. Like when I click on home, uh, we do see constant changes in the chip temperature and the power consumption, voltage, stuff like this. You do not see this in the swarm settings, uh, but I think that's fine. You get a basic overview of what's going on. You get a basic overview of what's the temperature currently. That's probably the most interesting part about this. But yeah, you now can configure and monitor all your devices from one point. So that's pretty nice. I really love this update. That's it for today's video. If you like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on further ones. And also hop over to Twitter and subscribe over there to me because I'm updating posts there frequently. That's it. Thank you guys and see you on the next one.